Published 1022 EDT, the 31st of July 2017. Updated 1022 EDT, the 31st of July 2017. U.S. President Donald Trump R shakes hands with newly sworn and White House Chief of Staff John Kelly. John Kelly was sworn in Monday as the new White House Chief of Staff as U.S. President Donald Trump looked to the retired Marine General for leadership after a shakeup of his top staff. Kelly, 67, is replacing Reince Pribus, who was forced out last week after the spectacular failure of Trump's bid to repeal Obamacare and as an ugly in-house feud spilled into the open. We just swore in General Kelly he will do a spectacular job, I have no doubt, as Chief of Staff, Trump said after the Oval Office ceremony. What he has done in terms of homeland security is record-shattering, if you look at the border, if you look at the tremendous results we've had, Trump said. Trump accentuated the positive in an early morning tweet highest stock market ever, best economic numbers in years, unemployment lowest in 17 years, wages raising, border secure, SC no WH chaos. Republicans are hoping Kelly, who served as Homeland Security Secretary for the first six months of Trump's presidency, will succeed in imposing discipline on a White House whipsawed by controversy. The chief of staff traditionally manages the president's schedule and is the highest-ranking White House employee, deciding who has access to the U.S. leader. But many question whether anyone can reign in the mercurial, Twitter-happy Trump, who has appeared to encourage the infighting among various factions vying for influence in his administration. Under pressure from a widening probe into his campaign's contacts with Russia last year, Trump last week attacked his own attorney general for disloyalty, alarming his conservative base, before turning on Pribus. In another tweet Monday, Trump hinted that Congress' own health insurance plan should be replaced for its failure to repeal Obamacare, his predecessor's signature reform of the U.S. healthcare system. If Obamacare is hurting people it is, why should NT it hurt the insurance companies and why should Congress not be paying what public pays since taking office six months ago? Trump's tumultuous administration has seen a succession of negative headlines and brewing scandals. Fueling the fire, the billionaire Republican has parted with a number of top officials including his national security advisor, deputy national security advisor and FBI director, among others an unparalleled turnover for such a young presidency. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.